Yes guys, welcome back to the video. So today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be going over the most meta Premier League players. So, I'm probably going to do this for a few leagues, maybe even nations. So in the comments, check down what other nations slash leagues you want me to do, and I'll get around to doing them. Now, I don't want to waste too much time, but we're pretty much going to go through the 4-4-2 formation, just adding in the players who I do think you need to add into your weekend league squads, you know, who will suit the game uh, the best, and hence the term meta so if you do go on to enjoy this video please do drop a like if you're new subscribe and put the notification bell on you won't ever miss a video right then without wasting too much time we're going to go into the keeper position what we're going to do is go into the prem keeper and concepts on pretty much guys with prem keepers or any keepers in general you you sometimes you uh you are pretty much prioritizing the height so if we look at joe hart obviously in sbc i'm going to include sbc players six foot five very uh viable option however his normal base card does have low uh, reactions so that could be something to consider um allison i've used brilliant edison i've used brilliant um but obviously a bit annoyingly and uh, surprisingly it's not any of those high rated keepers it's definitely nick pope here um he's just insane guys six foot seven which is probably the reason why but he just feels absolutely cracked so you can obviously go with like addison uh, edison or allison not <laughs> Uh, whatever I said then, uh, mix of the two. But Nick Pope is the, the the keeper of choice. He's insane. Okay then, onto the fullbacks. Then you're looking for pretty much um, agility if you're that type of player. Uh, in terms of the meta, it kind of is. And then obviously pace. Pace is one of the the main things. Trent, I don't actually see as um, the main the main best right back. I see him as more of a centre mid. So could be someone. Ricardo Pereira. Um, he hasn't got the strength. 75 strength is very weak for a, for a right back, realistically. James could be one. He's got almost all of it. He hasn't got great balance. But I do think Cancelo uh, pips this one just because he's got everything. Although he doesn't have the strength, he does have like passing, dribbling, defending, all, all, all insane. So in terms of most meta, um, at the start of the game, it was someone like Nelson Semedo. Here you go. Um, was just very well rounded and he had the great agility, great uh, dribbling. But I do think, Ric um, not Ricardo Pereira, Jao Cancelo takes number one spot for best right back in terms of meta players. Left back though, um, it's a different different situation obviously. We've got this Robertson, team of the year nominee. Oh no, uh, honourable mention, sorry. He's decent, but uh, obviously only 90 pace, which you know, you know could get a little bit higher than that. Dribbling's good, passing's great, defending's good. Once again, not, not too strong, but you know, can be avoided. Zinchenko there. I do think Zinchenko for me would be better than Robertson. More more pace, more dribbling, better passing, same physical, a little bit less defending. Regulon, he's been upgraded as well, so could be someone you, you look for. But for me, if you did Zinchenko's SVC, you've got number one spot there in a, a fullback. Centre backs then, there's some brilliant choices in the Prem. We've got Team of the Year Van Dijk and all his other cards. Got a Ruben Diaz. Anna Laporte from Man City, the new Rudiger upgraded showdown. Fabinho's too slow, you can't be using him. Um, and then we've got obviously the likes of John Stones' is SBC. Um, Fafana is an okay one, but not, not quick enough for me. And you've probably seen him there. He is going to take one of the spots. It's Carl Walker's in form. He probably is one of the most meta centre backs in the game, if not the most meta, for obvious reasons the pace and just, uh, you know, OP at centre back. Then you could go for Van Dijk. I, th I don't think I want to chuck him in here because it's easy to just put a team of the year. But in terms of r real meta players, it's, it's, it's Joe Gomez. Inform Joe Gomez or normal. Honestly, guys, the normal one still cuts it. I'm not even joking. He's so good still. Um, see if we can find the normal one. 83 uh, Joe Gomez. There he is. Literally, I'm going to put him in there because he is insane. Moving on to the right wing then. We've got a few choices. Obviously, you'll have to check right wing as well as right mid. Um, Bale, I'd love to say, being a Welsh person, I'd love to say that he's the most meta, but he's not. Uh, the dribbling's a bit low. Rafinha, though, is one who could be. He only got three-star weak foot, and you probably do want to look for something more. Saka's obvious choice. He'll probably pip it in this one. But an honourable mention, who I really want to show you guys, who I don't think is talked about enough, obviously Salah, but he's only got the three-star weak foot as well, is... Mr. Riyad Mahrez, four, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, and this one I'm going to chuck him in there. His, his dribbling is insane, and for a winger, I think you really do need that dribbling. You need to cut it in and out of places, and he's got it all really the pace, passing, shooting. He's got it all. Um, I do have 
any, any version of Mars is good. I do have the 87 um, foot champions one, uh, which is which is how I know he's good. So this one here, um, he is absolutely insane. Obviously, you can go with Saka, but, you know, I do think Mars is underrated and is very, very meta. Um, yeah. In at left wing, then we've got that new Pogba. Definitely not a left winger. Um, Rashford, though, on the other hand, uh, obviously people play him at striker, but he is one of the most meta. Son also, but some people, I haven't actually used Son this year, but uh, I've heard a lot of people uh, say he's not, not as good as his other FIFAs, where he had those uh, special player of the month cards and stuff, but he hasn't got the, the like sheer agility and balance, whereas Rashford's got that 90, I guess, so I don't know what it is about Rashford, I, I, I literally don't know, but he, he is honestly insane, he's literally 5-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot, he just, he, I don't know, he just destroys defensive, Bergewijn has got a shout to be in there, uh, four star, four star, but because his his normal card's low rated and not that good, I feel like it doesn't make his special card as good. Could just be me, but Rashford has to take the left mid spot there for me. Um, I don't think anyone else can can take that one off him there. Um, yeah, pretty much he's insane. Midfielders, you can probably guess one of them, and I'm gonna go for him straight away. Is uh, none other than N'Golo Kante. I'm not sure where he is. To be honest, I've got him in my club, so I'll just show you. Uh, him here. I've got his red in form. His normal card is insane anyway. Um, he's just brilliant. The pace, uh, the defending physical, he's always been good literally every FIFA onwards from like FIFA 40. He's just been OP and he's just got better and better and he's really really good this year as well. In terms of other centre mids, um, we've got De Bruyne. He's got his team of the year obviously. Wijnaldum is up there for one of the best. He's so well rounded but if you've got Kante I don't think you need a Wijnaldum even though he can push up more. Um, we had that Firmino foot freeze card, who I don't actually enjoy. I don't think he's very agile. He's not very quick, so I wouldn't put him up there. But one who I've not used, who is going to make it into the team, Liverpool centre mid version of Jones, who is incredible. I'm telling you now, I come up against him all the time and he just seems to score, he assists, he does everything. High, high, box to box, four star, four star. Um, very, very well-rounded. And the Bruyne team of the year isn't actually making it into this. You can kind of see that the team of the years aren't even the most meta. We're talking about the players that are kind of like value for money and just pure game mechanics um, just beat the opponent with, uh, you know, what's good on the game. And De Bruyne, he's tall. He's not that um, agile. He actually doesn't make my uh, most meta Premier League team. Right then, up top, um, we've got a few good choices. We've got this new Giroud, um, you know, Decent, decent player, obviously. Um, but in terms of meta, we all, all can agree 80 agility and 80 balance is not meta. Neither is 84 pace at this stage of the game. Harry Kane, bit too tall, not agile enough um, once again. Aubameyang, bit tall, very quick, but an insane shooting, but uh, once again, isn't meta. However, foot freeze Mane, in 96 agility, 89 balance, Insane shooting, insane pace, high low, which is perfect for a striker. Five nine, which I think is brilliant, and then four star, four star. There's no way Mane is not getting into the most meta Premier League team. He, honestly, his gold card, if you wanted to play that on seven chem at striker, is insane. And then um, for the next most meta player or striker in the Prem, it's probably a surprising one. We've got Agueros in there. We've got Richarlison's, who obviously Richarlison's really good, um, can be used, but. He's, he's quite tall. He's not as quick. Whereas St. Maximin, um, you know, high, low, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, five for eight is why he makes it into this one. 94 agility, 88 balance. Remember, guys, we are going for meta here. We're not going for the best rated, the best shooting stats. We are going for meta pace, agility, balance, um, dribbling, you know, in and out of defenders. This team, honestly, would, would comfortably get people like their best finish ever. So... If you had the access to these players, obviously an SBC Zinchenko there, an SBC Jones, um, foot freeze, Mane's expensive, so is Walker. So like, you know, you, you've got to work with what you've got. But if you can afford any version of most of these players, obviously normal Zinchenko's rubbish, but like um, Carl Walker, you could play him at centre-back as a right-back. Um, yeah, he's brilliant. Rashford, he's brilliant, is his normal card. Uh, Mahrez at a push maybe but i'd probably go for a special if you can st maximin's normal is not going to cut the mustard but if you can get this obviously go for it so this is my starting 11 of a full meta premier league team if you've got any other players that you thought were meta um check them in the comments obviously 
Uh, you can disagree with this team. Obviously, it's not the, the be-all, end-all, but um, this is what I think. Let me know, once again, any comments in the, uh, in the section below about leagues or nations you want me to go through, and obviously, I'll do that. And yeah, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe already. Peace.